there. This is Colin Daniel from RiffNinja.com. And why suspended cord? Yeah, well, why? Because a suspended cord is not major or minor. It can be used to substitute either. Um, they call it a suspended cord because the uh, major third of the cord has been removed. And in its place, you've either substituted with a two or a four. And sometimes the two an octave higher is called the nine an octave higher. Um, but either way, a suspended chord can be either major or minor. And the reason for that is it has no third in it. In A major here, we have an A, C sharp, and E. When we remove our C sharp, which is here, and lift our third finger up, becomes suspended. Now some people have lab labeled it suspended ninth and some suspended too, but uh, whether you play the lower octave or the higher octave of it, um, this is a good substitution for a major. This is A major, the A is sus. This is sus nine, that's what I would call it. So this is A major, and then A sus nine, right? And now, we can go to A minor, totally different key, and use the same technique. So here's A minor. Here's A sus nine, back to A minor, A sus nine. A, a lot of different uses uh, for those suspended chords because they're neutral and they can be either used to substitute or enhance or uh, work with uh, major or minor, okay? Uh, and of course that applies to suspended fourth too. I would just spoke about suspended two or nine, but it works for suspended fourth too. So have fun, good luck, and use those suspended chords um, to create new color and your basic chord changes. Uh, I think you'll find them quite useful. All right, have a good one. See you next time. This is Colin Daniel from RiffNinja.com.